Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down an electrifying storm that is ramping up across parts of the United States that's going to continue to bring lots of showers and thunderstorms over the next 48 hours and this will lead to the potential for flooding rainfall in addition to some severe weather. We'll also be breaking down a big pattern change that's on the horizon that's already beginning and it's about to ramp up even further with much warmer weather that's on the horizon. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the infrared imagery and what we've already seen earlier this morning. This is actually from earlier this morning. You'll notice here that there has been a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity specifically across parts of the southern plains and the lower Mississippi Valley. Notice this dark red colored area here that's stretching from about south Texas back into eastern Arkansas. These are actually all thunderstorms that are ongoing in addition to very heavy rainfall and this is all due to cloud tops being so high up we are seeing lots of rainfall in a short amount of time and that is going to be leading to the flooding potential over the next 24 to 48 hours so I thought this was pretty interesting to kind of add into the forecast anyway because again this is kind of something that we're going to be seeing here over the next 48 hours and you might as well get accustomed to it because there will be a lot of heavy rainfall back over to the east we have a ridge that's back down in the uh, Caribbean Sea actually but you can kind of see a little bit of the curvature here around it with the clouds going left to right that's in the clockwise spin with a high pressure system and then further out here to the west that's your low pressure system by the way which is spinning up a lot of showers and thunderstorms right now across parts of the southern plains and as well as back through the southeast and we are actually seeing a little bit of rainfall back into the midwest and as well as the ohio valley which i do expect to continue for the next couple of days i mentioned this earlier in this forecast but there's a huge pattern change that is coming to the united states that's really going to ramp up over the next few days we are already seeing the beginning of it but it's going to get a little bit more intense and a little bit more active as we go throughout the rest of this week so let's kind of hop into the details here with the jet stream give you an idea of this weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states and how this will actually impact your plans over the next few days beginning with today we have our jet stream that's located right in here this is a meridional jet stream which means we have a lot of curvature like this in the jet stream and the other type would be a zonal jet stream which goes straight across typically those are usually a lot more uneventful and and usually a lot less active when it comes to the weather pattern. So we have a pretty active weather pattern right now. Another thing I wanted to throw in here, by the way, there is a lot of cloud cover across the United States. I don't see that really leaving anytime soon. It's going to be cloudy here for the next several days because of all these disturbances that we have, in addition to the atmospheric rivers that are going to be coming out of the Pacific Ocean. So I just want to kind of throw those two things out as well. But notice here we have our low pressure system just off to the west of Texas. This is an upper level low that's bringing the showers and thunderstorms. We have a ridge that's down here, but it's not really impacting the United States much at all. It's keeping some areas in Florida dry, but it's really not going to last very long, at least throughout the rest of this week. Notice this as we go into Thursday, this jet stream becomes a bit stronger. So this means if you are flying, perhaps let's just say from North Carolina to Minnesota on an airplane, there will be a lot more turbulence here. But in meteorological senses, we're going to have a low pressure system still located in the central plains by the time we go into Thursday. That'll lead to showers and storms on the eastern side of that jet stream stretching from the Gulf Coast back into the Midwest and as well as the Ohio Valley. By Friday and of Saturday, we're going to have another low pressure system dive down here across the southern tier of the United States. So that means Friday into Saturday, we have more showers and storms coming for some of those that are in the Mississippi Valley, perhaps even back through the Ohio Valley and back through the East Coast. By the time we go into Sunday into Monday, that low pressure system starts to move a bit further out to the east. Overall, a pretty slow moving low pressure system. This is as we go into Monday and as well as into Tuesday. Notice the weather pattern becomes a bit more discombobulated if you will as we go into next week but again stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest as that starts to become a bit more certain on what's going to be happening next week now in terms of the watches and warnings across the united states some of these have just expired at the time of this forecast but we do have winter weather advisories in parts of kansas and southern nebraska that is for freezing drizzle through 8 a.m so by the time this forecast is up it's going to be done we have a lot of dense fog advisories across much of the great plains and back through parts of the Midwest. Also, some winter weather advisories in the Northeast. Those are also about to be done. And then back through areas in the Mississippi Valley, back into even Texas, we have flood watches in effect. And that is because multiple inches of rain are coming over the next several days. And notice all these light green boxes. There are a ton of them. Those are all flood warnings that are currently in effect from anywhere from Texas back into Mississippi. Obviously, very isolated events, but we will definitely be getting a lot more of those flood warnings over the next 48 hours as that rain continues 
continues to ramp up. Now you're probably wondering, where will all this rain be falling over the next few days? Well, let's hop into the future radar and give you an idea of what's happening now and what's to come. This is what's happening right about now. We have some rain stretching from the Midwest and the Ohio Valley back into the Gulf Coast. You might be wondering, why are us in the Midwest or the Ohio Valley dealing with rain and not snow? Because we're in late January. This just is not, you know, typical for this time of the year. Well, it's all because of a strong southerly wind out of the Gulf of Mexico that's lifting a lot of moisture and warm air up to the north. In addition to this low pressure system, it's a bit more on the southern side of the United States that's where it originated. So it's able to pull more of that warm and humid air out of the Gulf of Mexico, leading to warmer temperatures. So we're really not going to get any wintry precipitation out of this, but we will be getting a lot of rainfall. This is by tonight. We'll have showers and storms across parts of the Dixie Alley and as well as the Mississippi Valley. And this is going to continue to penetrate overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, stretching from Louisiana back into the Ohio Valley. As we go into Thursday, showers and storms move off to the north and east. We begin to actually notice a low pressure system near the surface developing. That'll start to move off to the north and east, but it is mainly a low pressure system that's in the upper levels. It'll start to go lower, though. Once we go into Friday, we're going to start to see that area of disturbance go off to the north and east. There will be a little bit of snow with this across areas like Canada and Maine, but it shouldn't be too, too concerning there. And then once we go into Saturday, another disturbance will form across the southern plains. This will lead to showers and thunderstorms, might even see some more isolated severe weather. And then as we go into Saturday into Sunday, this will move off to the north and east. We actually could get a winter storm out of this. I will have more details on this in our next forecast or perhaps one going into tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We'll have more details on that as we get closer. But as of right now, it's still a little bit uncertain on the exact details. And then next week, things look a lot better across the United States. So if you have any outdoor plans that you want to plan for next week, at least the beginning of next week looks to be very dry for much of the United States. In terms of rainfall for the next about six days or so, five days, this is all the way through about Sunday night into Monday morning. Many areas in the red are going to be seeing anywhere from two to three inches of rain. In the purple and pinks, so we're going to be talking anywhere from one to two inches of rain. And the yellows are three plus inches of rain. We have a lot of that going to be happening over the next 48 hours. A lot of it, though, is going to be quite isolated. So notice this as we go into this afternoon. Lots of showers and storms across Mississippi and Alabama. Even by tonight, this rain activity will continue. It'll fizzle out a little bit as we go into tomorrow morning, but it's going to ramp right back up as we go into the late morning and afternoon hours. So multiple rounds of showers and storms are coming. The severe weather threat overall is very low, by the way, out of all this. It's mainly damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado along the Gulf Coast. Really more concerning out of this is the flooding potential. We'll be talking about, again, a widespread area over the next 36 hours or so. We are going to see upwards of one to three inches of rain in a widespread area. We will see as much as three to six inches of rain in some more isolated to widely scattered areas and then very isolated locations could see as much as seven to ten inches of rainfall so again make sure you are prepared for this turn around don't drown if there are any flooded roadways make sure that you're subscribed to the channel we will be keeping you posted with the latest as this storm evolves